The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we get the uh, Dow up by uh, 329. Nasdaq's up by uh, 100. S&Ps are up by uh, 31. Gold's down 1820 at 1120. You get silver down 55 at 1405. Platinum is down uh, three bucks. Four dollars at uh, 974. We have um, uh, light sweet crude off uh, flat, actually, at uh, 39 to uh, 26. Bonds, the 10 years down five ticks, 127.29. The 30s off uh, 23 at 157. And you got King Dollar up 361 ticks at 94.90. Now, if we go overseas and we take a look at uh, what has happened overseas, last night in China, they still can't handle price. Uh, you had uh, the Shanghai was down 1.2%. Hang Seng was uh, down 1.5. We had uh, the Nikkei up three. And the uh, Taiwan was up 3.2. Uh, in Europe this morning, what do we have? In Europe in Europe this morning, you have uh, the DAX down 7 tenths or percent, CAT off 6 tenths, the FTSE off uh, 8 tenths. Our own markets, you get the Dow up 2 tenths, 2% um, rather, 2%. Uh, the S&Ps are up 1.7 and the NASDAQ is up 2.2%. Now, uh, let's go and we'll take a look. We'll put this up here first. Uh, we're going to go right overseas first because what you do have is this, is that if we go to Shanghai first, actually I want to go to the uh, Hang Seng first. If we look at the Hang Seng, folks, what you're going to see is that you're at 21,000. We came down from 28,000. The, it had broken the lowest swing. The first swing point down there was uh, 22,800, basically took that apart, had, had some juice on it, but it was still lighter volume. What it's doing is this. It's making its way down to the June 2013 level. Now that level, the top of that level is 20,081. The bottom of that level is 19,400. I think that's going to be a gauge as to how it hits there, number one, and, you know, for our own markets. And this is why. This is extended down dramatically. Um, and it's down on lighter volume. So on, on, a month, on a weekly basis, we did 20 billion shares the week of the 10th of July. Last week, we did 9.6 billion. This week thus far, we've done 10 billion. So, okay, this week is much higher volume. Well, you're going into 13 billion, and last night, I believe they touched it last night. Let's see. Yeah, you touched it last night. You got to 20,880, which, which you touched it. Uh, so that's crucial to say, okay, are we going to hold there or is it going to let go there? Um, if, we, if, it, if it does let go there, then what you have a game which is going to be like insane is that you have a game down to 16,000 and that's going to be the lows that were established in 2011. Um, is that important? Yeah, it's crucial because on a monthly basis, the 08 lows will turn into game if in fact we get into the 18,200. So that, that level there is gonna be crucial for the HSI. Now, let's go over, we go from the HSI and we're gonna to go to the UK. We take a look at the UK, what you have in the UK is this. UK, we're at 6,600. We're gonna put this on a monthly basis also. And what you're gonna see is that first off, the, the highs of the lows of 2008, a game inside the UK. Now that's pretty intense, you know, because we're at 5,034. So, I mean, we're at 6,035. So 5,052 is game here. Um, you're already into the bar of the 59, well, yeah, no, let's see. Yeah, you, get in, you got to 5,700. So you're into the 5,900 bar. You know, we'll see at the end of this month, now this will be pretty cool, at the end of this month, if in fact, the FTSE can close over 5913. If you get that, you know, then bottom line, you can get a, get a decent bounce going. The reason being is that that level there is the August 
of the 2011 lows. We go to the DAX in Germany, we take a look at the DAX in Germany, and what this is going to do, folks, is going to give you a much larger view of what you have around the world and what's going on. Because these are one-way one markets, that's, that's the bottom line. Uh, if we go take a look at the DAX, what you're going to see with the DAX, that the DAX, you know, certainly come off its high, but the DAX is still way up. I mean, you know, the, the 2008 lows were 3,500, you're still at 10,000. Um, the DAX thus far hasn't even got in the lower range. The DAX right now uh, is into the October 2014 area. You know, it hit that. Now we'll see whether it rejects that because if the DAX closes over 9520, that's going to be a huge heads up, folks. It's going to be a rejection of the 2014 level. And at this particular point, it looks like we're actually going to have lighter volume. We're at 1.7 billion right now, and that was 2.6 billion. So that correlation, I, I, I would say out of the ones we just did, the DAX, you really want to keep your head wrapped around, and the Hang Seng. And the reason being, because if they both reject that level, guess what? You're going to get a bounce extraordinaire, you know? Uh, and a both, listen, and that's all it is, is a bounce. We're going lower in our own markets because our own markets have already dictated. If we take a look at the SPY, our own markets have dictated that it, it took apart the swing point from the 2014 level, 181. Um, we hit, well, actually, this is actually dangerous. We actually only hit 182. Um, so I suspect we're going to build some cars to get into that level. Um, what you'd really like to see, if you're a bull, this is, wh watch how this shakes out. This is kind of neat, actually. If you're a bull, what you really want to see is, you know, yesterday was a vicious market. You know, it opens up 600, comes all the way down. But if you're a bull and you want a nice big bounce, the quickest way to get a big bounce is to flush this thing down again. Because what will end up happening is that when you keep flushing markets down, the, the volume yesterday was lighter than the, the, the prior day. The volume, I suspect, today is going to be lighter also. If you are flushing it down and you're flushing it down with lighter volume, what that's going to end up being is a test of the lows on lighter volume. And what that sets up, that sets up a shot to actually get to higher price. So... It's going to be a wild uh, ride here, here, no doubt. If we take a look at the uh, E-minis, okay, the E-minis yesterday have been giving some really good indications. And this morning, the same deal. You know, the, inside the S&P, someone is selling these E-minis, man, and they're selling them viciously. You know, we've already come down uh, 33 points on the S&P. Um, and, you know, it's on light of volume, okay, which is pretty cool because... If you're trading out there, you know, there's, there's a, a lot of opportunities. I'd let this settle out. It looks to me like the E-mini is going to try to get into this uh, 85 area, 1885. You know, we already got into the swing point that was established out here at uh, 410 this morning. That swing point is game right now. Uh, let me see how many minutes we were at. You're at six minutes. Okay, so we just got six minutes into it. And we've done thus far 72,000 contracts. It's going kind to of be interesting. Man, if this does more than 120,000 contracts, you get an ABC down. Now, watch this. If that's an ABC down, 23, that would be a 27-point ABC down, which would get you into 1880. Where's 1880? <laughs> Man, it's a trip. So 1880 is at uh, 2 o'clock this morning. It's, it's possible that that's what we have here. Let me put up the NQs for a second. If we put up the NQs and see if you get the same setup here, because if you have the same setup here, let me go back and to put that. So the NQs, well, it's not an ABC down on the NQs, that's for sure. But the NQs right now are into uh, 4093. That sets up uh, 4068. That's how this is set up right now. Um, you can expect this volatility to continue. That's the bottom line. If we go take a look at the uh, Dow Industrials, what we have uh, inside the Dow, uh, the strength inside the Dow right now. Oh, look at this. Merck 
is the strength inside the Dow. And Merck, folks, okay, has been the biggest laggard in the marketplace, period. So Merck is number one. Apple's number two. Apple's up 240. Visa's up uh, 157. You got Home Depot up 245. Um, there's not a Dow stock, by the way, that's uh, uh, negative right now. Travel's insurance is up uh, 25. You get United uh, Technologies up 20. DuPont is up 33. And Disney's up 79. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Uh, the strength, yeah, well, the, weak, well uh, the strength is Google. Google is up $22, and, and the L shares are up 21. Excuse me, folks. You have um, Netflix is up $3. Taken away from it on the way down, you got Wind Resorts down 2. Uh, Liberty uh, is off 52. Uh, Green Mountain's down 47, and Tesla is down uh, 124. The ES. <laughs> what, a, what a market this is, man. This is just amazing watching this thing shake out. Yeah, the E-minis are dictating, folks. The E-minis, there's someone inside these E-minis, man, with a vengeance. And it's going to be an ABC down. It's, uh, let me see. We got, you get, you get one minute left. We've already done uh, 117,000 contracts, and you're looking at 129. Looks like it can do it. So the E-mini wants to run into this uh, 1882. or at 18. 88 right now, and they're just pressing it, you know. So the, the next press, well, this gets really interesting too, man, because the next press, you know, you break that 82 level, and you get game into uh, 77. 77 would still have it up uh, $5, but you get selling. There's no doubt about it. People want out as fast as they can get out. Dow right now is up 196. Nasdaq's up 61. S&Ps are up 13. We're going to be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We get the Dow Industrials up 259 right now. NASDAQ's up 75. S&Ps are up uh, 20. Uh, gold is down 21 bucks. You get silver down 67 cents. If we go over to the silver market, they're basically taking this thing apart big time. So silver right now, you get the roll happening simultaneously, okay, which no doubt that throws markets uh, in a tizzy, particularly the silver market. Um, bottom line, though, um, this is going to be wild watching this thing shake out because you're breaking all the swing lows that are out here inside silver. That's 1439. We are at uh, 1398 right now. Let me just see how the SLW is reacting uh, on this baby. So the uh, silver Wheaton, okay, is taken out its swing low, which is 1207. Uh, came into it with volume. This is saying that silver Wheaton, let me see where this thing is setting up so we take a look at this on a monthly basis you're at uh, eleven dollars eleven sixty seven so this is going to get uh, this thing doesn't hold a lot. okay so we're at eleven thirty right now this does if this doesn't hold that um it hasn't even held it that's the bottom line so this is this is actually game Right there. Interesting, man. This could be game to 880. That'd be serious business. It'd be 967 first. 967 would be the would the next would be the next number, and that in itself uh, is pretty pretty intense. But that's the way that that baby is set up at this particular point. Uh, we get over and we take a look at the uh, gold market uh, GCZ. Gold is stronger than uh, silver right now in a huge way too. Uh, we've done 131,000 contracts. Now, gold is going to have to do uh, over 200,000 contracts, and I don't see it, but we'll see how this shakes out. Uh, what gold has thus far is this. The, the leg down, you're talking at 20, 2290. So that's the last time we had volume on the way down. So what we had here is this. At the open, you had 11,700 contracts. It's been pressing lower, lighter volume, and when you see that, what happens is that it's just going to be a matter, um, can it close at the 11.2290 area? If it does close at that 11.2290 area, what that's going to be, is it going to get a rejection with lower volume, and bottom line, that would set up higher price. What's, what's neat about this contract right now is this. How gold came down on July 20th is important to wrap your head around, and this is why. Well, here, I'll put up the GLD so I can show you how this works. When we look at the GLD, the, the GLD, when that came down on the 20th, we did volume of 15.7 million. Bottom line, that level there, folks, actually will set up as support for that market. This is why. Because we have so much volume at the 106.65 level, it's going to be hard to basically take that apart. Particularly because we already came off this high. We have a high out there of 112.12. So you had 112.12. You pull back. First time we pull back on a daily, 
you pull back with 9 million shares. Today, I suspect we're going to do probably 9 million. You know, we'll see how it handles it. It's going into 10.0 uh, million, uh, 10 million right now. So that level there is going to be important to watch to see how the baby shakes out. Let's go back over to the uh, E-minis again because you get a little bounce coming out of this and we'll be able to get the correlation. And this is what's so cool about um, the correlation inside an intraday chart. So thus far, uh, you get eight minutes into this. Now watch this, folks. We came down on the last 10 minute bar with 125,000 contracts. You're going up right now into the same bar. We're going up with 61,000. Um, I suspect we're not finished testing the way down. And the correlation, uh, let's see, 125, yeah, it's, it's almost half. You know, so we'll see how many more they put in two more minutes. But that correlation is saying, hey, we're not finished testing these lows out here because what we did do is that when we broke into that low, you broke with some juice, uh, what that sets up, no doubt, it sets up trading ranges that are just dynamite going in and out of markets. Some of the high volume stocks we have in this market out here, you have Bank of America up 33 cents, Apple's up three, um, Cameron's getting overtaken, uh, they're taken over by Schlumberger, that's up $17. EMC's up a dollar, you got Facebook up two, Netflix is up four, JP Morgan's up 161. Uh, some of the Dow stocks, what do we have inside the Dow out here? Um, we have uh, Big Blue is up 271, Merck is up 245. Uh, this is just, you know, give it a day. Red and blue. No, <laughs> red and green, red and blue, oh my God. Red, big blue, red and green. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN, you stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow up 288, NASDAQ up 81, S&P's up 23. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesamento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up to the second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrial is up 345. NASDAQ is up, uh, let's see, 100. S&Ps are up 31. Uh, let's see. Dudley says decision on September liftoff less compelling. That's one of the Fed uh, guys out there. Uh, bottom line, folks, is it's not even close. They're, there's no way that they're going up on rates, um, you know, in uh, September. You know, the next one after that will be December. I suspect, um, you know, more than likely, you're going out to match. You know, bottom line is that um, looking at the volatility inside markets, they're just not going to do it. The thing that's amazing, too, uh, there's no doubt, is that the, um, the bond market itself has been projecting that, hey, guess what? The, these babies, you know, bonds are not going up. Uh, if we go over, you know, this is going to be interesting here. Let's go look at the bonds right now because uh, today's a big day inside that market, TX. And this is what it is. If we take a look at it, yeah, they've already rejected lower price. So this ABC structure up uh, is still game here. This is pretty intense, actually. Uh, so we've hit the uh, 127.25 today. You've done uh, 149,000 contracts thus far. Um, and this 10-year this ten year is still looking like it's going to take out the 129.21. And if you take that out on ABC structure, that's going to be 134. I think it's five bucks, 24. Yeah, it's five dollars. It's going to be a 134 number, which a 134 number is just a mind blower because right now we're still at 2.1. That'll bring it down to 1.8 somewhere in in that structure. Uh, we go take a look at the 30-year uh, bond. What do we have with the 30-year bond? 30-year bond also is running. It hasn't rejected the lower price yet. It's getting close. Um, we've hit 156.25. Right now you're at 157.14. And we've done 270,000 contracts. You'd want to see this uh, finish inside the 157.20 area. Uh, that also is set up, though. That's set up, uh, let's see, we get the bottom is 147.11. 57. That's 16 bucks. 56, 66. That'd be 73. That's a 173. Depending on, you know, when you get the B point here, um, that's a 173. That's, that's about as intense as you can get, folks. Meaning that those bonds uh, still look to want much higher price. And if bonds want higher price, what you have here is markets want lower price. Money is going to move from the markets into treasuries just to get their money back. That's what that's all about. I mean, you, you move into treasuries, folks, you want your money back, period. You know, when you, when you take a look at the 
when we take a look at the cash S and P, you know, the questions this morning um, on CNBC, it's like they were trying to figure out, okay, why are we pulling back? Well, we haven't pulled back in five years. You know, a normal retracement. This is the scariest part about this thing, folks. Okay, that. Guess what? This doesn't have to be the end of the world scenario like 2008. Just a normal retracement in a bull market move is a 0.382 to a 0.50. Well, we haven't had one. A 0.382 retracement is 15.78. A 0.50 is 1404. Now, there's no doubt that would be insanity. But that's a normal move. That's that's just a normal move. It's particularly a normal move. Um, when you haven't had a retracement. And I suspect after the 2000 debacle and the 2007 and 8 debacle, you know, people are more nervous. They should be more nervous. That's the bottom line. We'll see. We'll see if they are or not. But I do expect they are more nervous, and I expect what you're going to see uh, is that there's going to be more money that's pulled out of this marketplace, and that's where there's going to be a lot, lot of, uh, there's, there's going to be a lot more selling. We take a look at the um, inside the Dow. The, the Dow, when we first brought it up, every yeah, still every stock is positive. Uh, let's go take a look at Merck. Merck is the leader inside the Dow right now, and uh, that's up two dollars. Uh, that's up two dollars after coming down to, from sixty dollars. You're at fifty-three. No big action there. Uh, Apple Apple um, has been holding up, and Apple has that high volume swing low as a, a lot of these other equities do. Uh, those high, those high volume swing lows are going to get tested, man. Um, it's just a matter of uh, when it's going to get tested. Right now, Apple's at 106. Um, if we go take a look at the NYA, the, N, the NYA folks is the first one that took apart the October 2014 level. Now we're below that level. Okay, the 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 low is 9886. Okay, so what does that set up? The, the first indice, no, the first sector that came down to that level was the transports. The transports came in, they hit it. The NYA came in and hit it, and, they, and now what the NYA is basically projecting is that, you know, we're at 9,800. That's, that's projecting a 7,800. And the 7,800 would be the highs of the lows of October of 08. Because you have both of them, is that one higher? 8,100. 8,100 to 7,800. That's... Uh, 8,100, that's 1,700 more down. And the highs were 11,200. So you're already uh, four, you're 1,400 down, and 81 is another, oh man, that's, that's another 1,700 down. That's pretty intense. But bottom line, um, you stay under those levels that were generated out there in 2014, that's where this thing wants to go. Um, the cash S&P, that number is a, is, is a monster number also. Uh, that, I believe we already got to the top of that on the weekly. So on the weekly basis, that number is uh, 1912. Oh, this is intense. Okay, so check this out. That, this is a, this is a big heads up here. Okay, so 2014, the October 2014 level, the high is 1912, the low is 1820. Friday, you close under this 1912, and it depends how much. If you're closing here, it's not that bad. You know, you're not that far into it. You're 10 points into it, so it'd still be a toss-up. You close at like 1970, 1970, I mean 1870, 1875, probability goes higher that you're going to go to 1820. The closer that you close to the 1912 area would set up the closer that you can get yourself um, a good bounce going. So. You know, it's the, the 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 correlations inside this marketplace. There's there's plenty of information that has been released that will be released, uh, and you absolutely want to put that information together. We go take a look at uh, uh, yeah Alibaba, folks. Okay, it's pretty amazing. Uh, one of the quotes last night from the chief executive of Alibaba, uh, he's saying he wants uh, all his employees to stop looking at the stock so it doesn't matter that's not going to happen folks alibaba has gone from a price point of 120 down to 66 uh, 90 and uh, you know we'll see how much more it drifts down alibaba at this particular point will go with the market now 
That being said, what, what is going to happen, uh, if, if you know, what you want to get on your radar is that Alibaba, B-A-B-A, -B -A, okay, does have um, a nice high volume high on a monthly basis and on a weekly basis. So, you know, that's something that you can basically, you know, put on a list, you know, what, you, what you're going to want to do, which is a little tougher with Alibaba is this is that you'd have to get to a low first, then you'd want to sign a straight off the low, and then you'd want to test that low again. Uh, but I was looking at that, you know, and, and it's, you know, whether that's two, three, four months down the line, um, that's going to be something that uh, I suspect you should look at. If we go over to Exxon Mobil, we take a look at Exxon and Chevron. Uh, Exxon right now, bottom line, it's building a little cause. You know, right now it's 69.72. Can it bounce? Yeah, it can bounce slightly, but there's really not a huge amount of action there right now. Uh, what you do have, I believe, on the monthly, see, at the end of this month, man, it's going to be really cool watching how all of these reacted uh, into the swing points that they're going into. Like, Exxon's at 69. And what, yeah, you close over, it's going to be... If you close over 68, actually, if we close over 68.22, it's still going to have lighter volume than the, than the lows that were established out here in May of 2010. Because we've only done 293 million shares thus far versus 649 million. No, versus 768 million. Okay, so that that's a that's a that's a big number. That's a big number, no doubt about it. Dow Industrials right now are up uh, 254. You get the Nasdaq up 77. S&Ps are up 21. We're not up far enough here, folks. Okay, you're going to see here. I'll bring up the S&Ps. You're going you're gonna to see another sell down here. This, this, the low of today is going to get tested. This is what ends up happening with momentum, just in general. You, you, you know, we were trading out at uh, 1923. Your first leg down took you down to 1885. Uh, we just spiked up to the 1905. Now, that has nice juice at 1905, so that's a, that's a good range, okay? Um, and that would likely get tested, but the range now is set up from 85 up to this uh, 905 level. And I suspect uh, the later that it gets inside the day, that's where the problem takes place. The reason this take, the problem takes place at this particular point would be this, is that any orders that got and yesterday from financial advisors. So watch how financial advisors work. This is important to wrap your head around. Whether it's 401ks, you get a financial advisor, you own funds. Those orders that were put in yesterday, folks, those are gonna get sold today. That's how this thing works. They're gonna get the closing price of today. Because of the way that the market reacted yesterday, you know, I expect what you're gonna see is that you're gonna see more pressure coming into the marketplace the later that it gets inside the day. You know, the, mar the market right now has from about now to about quarter past 1, 1.30 to get traction on the way up. You don't get traction on the way up. Going into that level, what you're going to see in every mutual fund, uh, even money managers can't do anything about it. See, what happens is this, is that a CFA, a money manager, they've already got the orders in. That's the bottom line. What they do know I mean, if I was in that business, what I definitely know is that, okay, after yesterday, how many people put orders in that let me get out? I suspect more than normal, you know. And, we'll, and that pressure will come as the day wears on. And, you know, that pressure, it's a self-fulfilling type of, type of deal. You know, that being said, the way that bounces do come in is that, Today, if we're pushing into those lows again, and the volume is lighter once again, what you'll end up seeing, and the volume's light right now, it's 304. Um, on the NYSE, on the NASDAQ, we're dealing with uh, 604 million. Um, if it's lighter once again, well, what, you'll, what you will get is that you'll get some type, type of a bounce, but what we're into right now is that the selling is not even close to being over at this particular point because it's, it's at the very beginning. It, it takes a good seven, eight, nine days of this 
uh, going into lows, lows, lows um, before you're going to get some kind of a decent bounce. Uh, if we take a look at the, uh, what you did have last night, we had a closing trend last night of 3.9. Now, that's not bad. Uh, that is not a low, though. You know, if you go look at 2008, uh, uh, when we were coming into lows, 2008, 2009, you're talking about a closing trend of 8 and 9. That's how intense that was. And that's, that's where real bounces actually come into the marketplace. I'm talking about a one-day trend, too. That's like insanity. But what that is, specifically, is that that is everyone selling the exact same stock at the exact same day, and that's the flush out down at the bottom. And then once that happens, it doesn't take a huge amount of buying in order to come off that bottom and to get action topside. We go over to the gold contract, gold's rejecting lower price. It's going to be interesting watching this whole thing, baby shake out. Um, we're at 1124.60. I think that's the exact number that it needs, too. Let me just see something. So... Yeah, it didn't even break the swing. So we went to 11.16.90. Right now you're 11.25.60. You're going to have lighter volume. The real key is going to be, are we going to get an expansion with this? It looks like to me that we're going to. Yeah, and see, that's the number, man. That's a trip. 11.22.90, that was the number. That was the last time that the sell was on the way down. Now what you've had is this. Gold just broke the top side again. Gold just broke the whole thing. This is going to be a trip watching this shake out. So gold right now, you're at uh, 11.25. This thing's going to 11.30.70 in about a heartbeat. We got, let me see how many. Okay, we're going to start the next bar right now. This bar has some good juice in it. Um, we've done 6,900 contracts right now. That's saying that 11.30's game, and we just ha might have this ABC structure on the way up going once again. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials are up 222. They get the NASDAQ up 70. S&Ps are up 19. And uh, we get some pressure in these markets once again, folks. You stay right there. We're coming right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. We hit the uh, Dow up 303, Nasdaq's up 93, S&Ps are up 26. You got gold uh, down 14, silver's off 53 cents. Bonds, folks, they came uh, on just about all the way back. You got the 10-year up 8 ticks, 30 is, uh, is down 12 right now, and King Dollar's giving it up. King Dollar's up 81 ticks at 94.61. And uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, the Fed is out here. Uh, bottom line is that, well, you had Dudley. Okay, Dudley, the, here's his quote. The case for rising interest rates in September is less compelling because of the international finance and market developments, New York Federal is... Reserve Chairman William Dudley said today, uh, from my perspective at this moment, the decision to begin normalization process at the September FOMC meeting seems less compelling. And the bottom line, folks, is that uh, the New York uh, Federal Reserve president, uh, ha no doubt, has a lot, swings a lot of weight. That's, that's the bottom line. We go over and we take a look at these markets for a second. Let's go into the E-mini. Uh, what you have with the E-mini is that the... You know, you had the first leg down, and what you're going to see here, and I watched that. This is pretty cool how this is shaking out. Um, you're five minutes into it, and this can't handle this bar. That's what's going on. So we had come down 125,000 contracts. You went back up. We tested it with 109,000. What's going on right now, now you're testing it. Uh, we've done 41,000. So let's say, okay, you're going to do about 90,000 versus the one. 109,000 from 10 minutes, no, from 20 minutes ago versus your downdraft out there of 125,000. So what that sets up, as that sets up, uh, it's going to set up another test of the lows that were out there of the 1885. So when you, you look at something like that, if you're trading intraday, just keep that in mind. So it doesn't mean that you, you, you can't trade for higher price. Just keep your stops in place all the time. And if you're selling at the top, then you bring them down, okay? Because your probability is that you're gonna hit the 1885 once again before we come into that close out here. That's kind of how this thing shakes out. Now, don't forget, folks, at TFNN, if you happen to be listening in your car right now, we do 10 hours of live programming every trading day. You can get it right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. That gives you the, the audio. If you wanna get the video, with the Tiger TV, just go to tfnn.com. On the right-hand side, what you'll see is that you'll see um, a little box with uh, all devices in it. 
Our service will know what type of device you're on. You can get Tiger TV, and you get it right on your cell phone, folks. It works great. In fact, it's, it's pretty amazing how clear it is on your cell phone. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be coming up next, growling, prowling with you. And then uh, we got uh, Daryl Martin. Um, I believe that Steve is still on vacation. Dave White uh, is going to be back, and then I will be back this afternoon. Uh, bottom line, high volatility out here. Um, you know, if we take a look at the Dow Industrials, we really don't have any movement. That's the real bottom line. You know, uh, when you take a look at the Dow, you know, point-wise, yeah, you're up 278. But guess what? The high yesterday was uh, 632. The high out here today was uh, 16,100. Um, I suspect what you're going to do is that you're going to press into these lows once again. You know, if we take a look at the diamonds, let's just see how the diamonds are setting up right now. And, and what I had said, where, where this is going to come from, folks, this is going to come from the orders that were pressed in yesterday, um, you know, coming, coming into this marketplace. Because if you look at the diamonds, the diamonds want to retest the 158.35 level also. That's the way that this whole uh, baby uh, seems to be set up. There's, there's a lot of orders that are out there. Hey, you know what's really cool? Imagine if you're, you're in the aspect, you're one of these large order houses and you saw those orders laying out there because that's what ends up happening. You know, orders that can put in yesterday, mutual fund orders, they're going to get executed today and you can imagine, they're sitting there knowing, looking at the market space, and looking at all those orders and saying, oh my God, how, when are we going to put these orders in? You stay right there, folks. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Dow right now is up 262. Nasdaq's up 81. S&Ps are up 22. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look forward to speaking this afternoon, folks. Wow! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.